Another Skylanders treat for you today, we've got the first look on screen at Barbella and of course back at Gamescom we saw the packaging, um, really nice looking figure, slight shine there, hard to see into some of these boxes but I think um, in terms of presence um, and power Barbella certainly is communicating all of that and nice to see on a female character. So as we walk through this level, take on a couple of enemies, enemies here you can see the start of what is, I think, one of the most powerful weapons I've seen on a Skylander today. These barbells are absolutely magic. You can see she's made really short work of these new enemies. I don't recognise who these are. I think we're seeing these new enemies for the first time. As we head off to another section of the level, we're going to grab ourselves a bit of pretzel, get some more energy on board. Now, I want to see these enemies. Let me have a closer look at them here. How do they attack? So they're waving their arrows around the head, and then they put them together to shoot them and then what's that guy doing there he's pulled an arrow out of his house let's rewind that you can see he reaches inside and pulls out an arrow which he then intends to shoot at barbella but i think we're a bit too quick for him and it seems like they can jump across from the ship behind but i think this guy whoa he got com completely mashed let's rewind that again and have a look you can see as that crate explodes next to him he goes flying so as we press on with some more of our sort of floating ship level we can see some more of Barbella's powers um, conjuring a crate there and sending it smacking to those enemies. This guy's got axes. Whoa! <laughs> I love this. Have a look at that. I think this is my favourite of Barbella's powers. That she holds her barbell sideways, charges them up and raises two hands that clap and completely destroy the enemy. So if we just take a brief pause from the action before looking at another new level, we can see that Barbella here is a sentinel class and of course she is of the earth element. We heard earlier her cat's rage. Um, it's crunch time and I like the look of this character all the senseis I think have got an extra added bit of zing but the, the attention to detail the sort of the glimmer in her eyes and also the sort of sense of presence and muscle strength on a female character I think is really nice to see those barbells of course coming from her barbella name um, certainly deal out some damage in the arena and levels but back to the gameplay and more of these floating island levels got the waterfall there just showering off the side of here the water wheel going around now i think we've got some more puzzle elements here as um, barbella figures out oh yeah of course if we turn this wheel we will lower the platform and we can go over collecting the coins as we go jumping up some more um more familiar looking spaces here of course with the sort of the flora and fauna but just working our way through some of these switch puzzles getting get a sense of how barbella moves around the level i'm going to jump on now to a little later bit and again we've got these vikings with axes that can also fly now wes was saying that he thinks they should be called fly kings which i think actually is a pretty good name so we grab that bit of pretzel do let us know in the comments what you think these en these enemies should be called. I'm pretty sure this is a new class that we're seeing. We don't... Whoa, these little bomb guys! They're running and they're, they're chasing us. What is it they do when they get close? They jump up. Well, we need to rewind that and have, a, have another look. So let's go back here. Now, as we come down onto this ship, see in the distance, um, you've got our Viking guys with axes. But that, these little bombs, they jump up and they sort of... They, they target you with their eyes and then warp and, and explode as soon as they touch you. Um, and again, I've not seen those before, but the sort of the main um, enemy here seems to be these Vikings, which <laughs> again, the guy did it again. You who reach into their mouths and pull out these arrows. I just love the design of some of these enemies. But Barbella, again, you can see her presence, those fiery barbells, the kind of earthy rocks at each end, I think kind of um, certainly impresses most in this video. Um, you've got to watch out for these spin attacks. They obviously look like I've got an area attack. Uh, most of Barbella's attacks seem to be quite close combat and being a melee character. But let's move into another little treat here with a gong battle as Barbella tr triggers, the, triggers the gong, the big massive symbol. Now we have to try and um, beat all the enemies. There we've got our total in the top right turning green. The red enemies appear. Now, I've not seen if she's used her sensei power yet. Whether we're saving it for the end of this, I don't know. But it seems to just be a series of the standard att attacks. Maybe we saw it earlier in some of this footage. But again, really <laughs> making very light work. So what I think we'll do is press on with more of this level once we've collected all our loot. 
um, and we get to see whoa <laughs> the way that floor completely caves in you can see a lot more of the effects coming through into Skylanders Imaginators from them actually modeling um, modeling the scenery out of separate polygons rather than just having an image mapped over a flat plane now as we move on I'm gonna skip ahead again here um, see I think you saw some of this towards the beginning but look at that that's a sort of spike attack that then leaves these grenades in the floor as well nice I think that's worth having a quick look at so we'll rewind this, you see as she comes over, she places her barbells on the ground and sort of summons out of the ground these spikes that leave behind these little spike mines. I think if the enemies go into that, they're going to come a cropper. So as she makes short work of these, we're going to press on and finish off the enemies we've got left in this area. And then what I'd like to do is to skip on a little bit further in this level to show you back on these ships some of these battles and how you can really approach these different ways and there you saw a real area effect she placed down a sort of this, these glowing sort of glowing <laughs> attacks that then sort of pull in as if they are gravity field pull in the enemies let's rewind that see where this ball oh it's not it's not from her it's this enemy spawning out these balls um, that then attack her so we need to make again short work of them so there's a whole range of different enemies we're seeing in this space as we carry on using a variety of attacks from Barbella's barbells. But here we go, another new area. So we've got these pools, we've got this mountainous area. Uh, we're going to work our way through these crates. Not an awful lot to do here, but I think that is because we haven't seen this kind of earthy mountain level before. As we <laughs> look at this, powering our way through these rocks as if they weren't even there. Really nice sort of destructive effects. And I think we've got this ball to roll onto a switch trigger which we're doing with no problem down and that triggers the walkway we can go on again here i love the, the sort of sense of corrugated iron rusted lots of different sort of textures and colors here as we move on we're going to lock is that a lock puzzle there we're going to have a go at that i think that's probably outside the scope of this what are, what are these they're like little mushrooms or little sort of toasted what are they toasted hoppy aliens what well, and there's this guy with a big shotgun. So let's, let's, there's a lot to look at here. Let's let's rewind this. So first up, we get a wave of attacks from these little sort of hopping, hopping aliens. What are they doing? They didn't seem particularly effective, but this guy looks a bit more threatening. I feel like I've seen him before. Is he a returning a returning enemy? Uh, again, on these on this footage, it doesn't show you. Um, what the enemy doesn't introduce them to you like it does in the game final because obviously this is sort of non-final footage um, but we're getting them popping up <laughs> and we, but again because we're sort of close combat we have to get in close with Barbella's attacks to make short work particularly where you've got ranged attacks and they're coming in waves now as is the way with Skylanders so we introduce some enemies but then they all start coming together that is a good ranged attack that box that you can push gives you some distance from your enemies um, and these guys, I think, will be throwing their axes if we're not careful. So we better make short work of them. So, what? I was just about to just about to finish, and there's this uh, huge axe people at the end. So before I go, we'll do one last treat rewind to see these enemies coming in. Now, what I'd like to know in the comments is what you think each of these enemy characters are called, and of course these areas. I don't think we know what these levels and these worlds, these sub-levels are, um, but certainly I think we're going to see a lot more of the game as we progress through this footage. Now, I hope that's been good. A close look at Barbella, both her different attacks, her sensei power, everything that goes into making her what I think will be one of the more popular Skylanders, Imaginators, Sensei Masters this year. Let us know which characters you're going to be jumping in on in the comments. But for now, that's all we've got time for on Family Gamer TV.